Hi third graders, today we're going to continue to learn about historical events, meaning things that happened a long time ago in history, and how those events are related to each other. And we're going to read about a famous person named William Becknell and his discovery of the Santa Fe Trail. So let's get started. All right, our last lesson on historical events was about the story of Lewis and Clark and their exploration of the western part of the United States when it was first purchased called the Louisiana Territory. We looked at events that were in chronological order. That means that they happened in, the, in time order. Something happened first, then next, then after that, and finally, that's chronological order. So the first event was that Lewis and Clark set up their base camp in the winter of 1803 in St. Louis because they had been asked by President Jefferson to explore this new part of the United States that had just been purchased. And so they were getting ready to head out west on their journey. Then they began their, their trip into the new part of the land, the new territory in May of 1804. Notice how we have dates. We have 1803 in the winter, so maybe November, December, January. And then they began the next year in 1804 in May, which is getting ready for the summer. Then they, during their exploration, it take, took 18 months to get there, so a year and a half. And they finally made it from St. Louis, which is in the middle of the country, all the way across to the Pacific Ocean, which is like uh, California, um, and Oregon out that direction. And that is when they, they arrived at the ocean in 1805 in November. So it was getting to be winter time when they got there. They stayed in, in uh, near the ocean and then they started heading back toward St. Louis. And they finally returned to St. Louis in September of 1806. So it didn't take them quite as long to get back because they had already had trails and a map made. So they were able to get back a little more quickly. And that brings us to our learning target today. We're, gonna, we're going to use time and sequence, so dates and the order of things that happen um, to help us understand how events in history, that means things that happened a long time ago, how those events are connected. So something had to happen, which caused something else to happen, which caused something else to happen. And we're gonna read about a person today named William Becknell, who is a famous person um, who uh, discovered the Santa Fe Trail. And as a reminder, sequence means to have things happen in order. This is a list of words that can show order. Uh, for a start, at this point, all in all, in the end, uh, before, later, first of all, to start with, to begin with. So these are words that I'm going to start looking for in your writing when we start writing. Here is another list of words you can use, time order words. In each column, it has a different part of time. So the first column is before words, then first, next, sometimes last. And instead of using those actual words in your writing, you could use those words that are in each of these columns. And we will be putting these inside of our ELA notebook next week. In today's assignment, we're going to read a biography, which is a true story about someone's life. And this person also explored the western part of the United States, just like Lewis and Clark did. And this person's name is William Becknell. And while we read, we're going to focus on the main events of his journey, and we're going to talk about how those events are related. So what did he do first? And then because of that, what ended up happening after that? And then what happened after that? That's what it means to be related. Something is going to have to happen first for him to do something else. And then after that, something is going to happen. So let's start out by looking at this map for something that we call the Santa Fe Trail. So up here in this map, is a picture of the United States. And in this corner of the map in red is the Santa Fe Trail. And it's just a path through a part of the United States that William Becknell discovered. So I'm gonna show you another map that shows the, uh, shows the Santa Fe Trail a little bit larger. This map shows what the United States currently looks like today. 
The map that you were just looking at on page 42 is about 200 years old. It doesn't have all of the states created because at that point in time, there, all of the states in the western part of the United States had not become states yet. So let's look at this map. Right here where I'm circling, this is close to the middle of the United States, and that is where William Becknell and Lewis and Clark started their journey. Now, if you look down here, this is New Mexico. This is where we live. Belen is probably about right in here. And you can see that, let me change the color of my highlight. This right here is the Santa Fe Trail. It leads from Missouri all the way over to Santa Fe. And that was important because that trail allowed people to start moving toward the west, which is this direction. So they went from Missouri and they were able to use this route or this trail to get to Santa Fe, which brought people more west. And that opened up this part of the country. People started moving here and living here. So they started businesses and they started farming and they started buying things and selling things and trading things. And so that created a community which started to make people want to move out west. So on page 42 of your Reading Common Core book, or if you got a copy of it if you're a hybrid student, I want you to read this story called William Becknell and the Santa Fe Trail. And then I have some questions that I want to see if you can answer after you read this. We're reading to find out why that Santa Fe Trail is important and how William Becknell discovered it in the first place. So by the time you're done reading, you should be able to answer this question. What is the biography mostly about? Remember, a biography is a, a story about a person's life, and this is why it's telling us about William Becknell. You should also be able to answer the question, why did William Becknell first travel to the West? So remember, he started in Missouri and he moved toward Santa Fe, which is moving toward the Western part of the United States. And then the last question I want you to be able to answer is what was Becknell's important achievement? So what did he do that was very important for the rest of the country? So pause the video, read to yourself, and then I'll give you the answers to those questions to see if you read carefully. Okay, so let's see if you can answer the first question. What is the biography mostly about? If you said that it was about William Becknell's journey um, on the Santa Fe Trail and how he discovered it, you were correct. The second one said, why did William Becknell first travel to the West? If you said he was hoping to trade salt, that's why he went to the western part of the United States the first time. And then the last question, what was William Becknell's important achievement? Well, he, he discovered the trail, which we now call the Santa Fe Trail. It's, uh, we call it blazed. He blazed a new trail to the southwest part of the United States. So if you were able to answer those questions, you read very carefully. Nice job. Okay, now I want you to follow along as I read the story, because this time we're going to read and we're going to focus on that second trip to Santa Fe. So play, pay very close attention to the events of the second journey to the West. And then we're going to look for sequence words in paragraph four that would help retell the order of the events in Becknell's second trip to Santa Fe. All right, so first let's read the story. William Becknell was a trader and trapper. He was born in Virginia in the late 1700s. As a young man, Becknell moved to Missouri in 1810. In Missouri, Becknell traded salt. His business was not very successful. So in the summer of 1821, he planned a trip west. Traveling on horseback, Becknell and his group hoped to trade horses and mules and trap animals. When the party, and when we talk about party, it's not like having rah, rah music and um, dancing and food. A party is a group of people who are exploring. So when the party started their trip, Spain, that's another country across the ocean,
Spain owned New Mexico because he was headed toward to New Mexico. So Spain did not own New Mexico uh, or did own New Mexico when he first started his trip. And the Spanish, so those are the people that come from Spain, the Spanish didn't allow traders from the United States to sell their goods there. So before they left, they weren't going to be allowed to sell their goods or their, th their salt items and their horses and their uh, mules. They weren't going to be allowed to sell them and trade them in, the United, in uh, New Mexico. However, as the party made its way, however, the Spanish lost control of New Mexico. And that means the Spanish didn't own New Mexico anymore while William Becknell was um, heading toward New Mexico. Becknell heard this news and changed his plans. He headed straight to Santa Fe, which is here in New Mexico. There, they traded their goods for silver dollars. About a year later, in May 1822, Becknell and his wagons left Missouri once again. Okay, so they came to New Mexico, traded, and went back to Missouri. But then a year later, they decided to try the trip again. So now this is his second trip to New Mexico. This time, Becknell followed a dangerous route. First, he followed the Arkansas River to what is today Dodge City, Kansas. Then he traveled southwest to Cimarron River. The party ran out of water and almost died. But Becknell pushed them on to the river. That means he didn't let them give up. He said, let's keep trying. I know we're on a dangerous route and this is very difficult for us to travel on because it was a long time ago and they didn't have any um, cars. They were doing this by feet and horses and wagons. And he said, come on, let's keep going. Finally, they reached Santa Fe. They had blazed a new trail. That means there wasn't a road for them to take. There wasn't a trail for them to follow. They had to create it themselves. Now I'm on paragraph five. Becknell's route became known as the Santa Fe Trail. In 1825, it was marked as the main route, so the main way to get to the Southwest. This route was important to the growth of the United States. Remember, the reason it's important to the growth of the United States is because people were not able to get to the western part of the United States because there were no roads and there were no trails. But now that he created one, others could follow behind him and get to the southwest of the United States. So I want you to look at paragraph four and see if you can see the um, sequence words, remember words that show order, that would help us retell the order of the events in Beckwell's, Becknell's second trip to Santa Fe. So let's look at paragraph four. We see the words first, and that's when he was following the Arkansas River. Then we see the word then, he traveled to the Southwest, and that's where the part to the, uh, traveled Southwest to the Cimarron River, and that's when the party their group of people ran out of water. And then it says, finally, finally they reached Santa Fe and they had blazed a new trail. So those three events show us the order that something happened first, then, and finally. And now we need to answer this question. Why is Becknell's second trip to Santa Fe important to know about? Think about that. I mentioned it earlier. Why is this trip important? Well, it's important because the trail that he blazed, which he created, became known as the Santa Fe Trail. And it helped the United States grow because people were able to move further west. So your assignment today is to read the William Becknell and Santa Fe Trail again to yourself. I want you to look at the questions that are on page 43 and the writing prompt that is called the short response on page 43. And then you're gonna go into Schoology and answer the questions from the story and the writing for your assignment today. If you were watching the video and listening very carefully and reading along with me, these questions should be easy to do. 
Also, if you are an online student, or actually all of you are online right now, but if you come to my meeting today, I will do this assignment with you. All right, boys and girls, good luck. Um, do your best work, and I will see you next time. All right, let's wrap it up. Today we used time and sequence words to help us understand how events in history are connected. All right, as soon as you're finished with your chart, go back to Schoology, click on the assignment, and put your information from the chart into the assignment. Good job, boys and girls. We'll see you next time.